hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who don't know me my name is naninga welcome to this channel it's all about fashion beauty makeup and everything in between basically yeah so we are back again with another video if you haven't watched part one of the previous pinterest um attempting to create it's actually attempting because these are not the real outfits that these models have worn and uh, it's attempting to recreate pinterest outfits part two so if you haven't watched part one make sure that you check out my description box i'll definitely link the video for part one in the description box don't leave the um the channel before watching part one because it was really really good it was much better than this round but anyway guys welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe before you leave this channel don't forget to give the video a like and i hope that you're going to enjoy this you video. can definitely also go ahead and share this video with your friends on your social media platforms if you think that it's really worth sharing but i can tell you that when it comes to fashion this video is definitely worth worth sharing yes so let's just get into the first outfit and i'll definitely be inserting for you what i actually like um came up with yeah compared to like the model yeah so for the first outfit checking on my phone basically um how the model wore it so for the first outfit it's actually a white skirt as you can see the model is wearing a white skirt and it's a melanated model so i'm so happy for that a white skirt and white always looks good on a melanated skin and probably a white bodysuit because that top doesn't look like it's actually a top it looks like a bodysuit and you can see it has a lot of cutouts and all that but unfortunately i tried my best when it comes to this first outfit i tried my level best the best i could come up with was actually a mid-length skirt from the 1980s this skirt that i've actually worn um for this look is actually my mom's hand-me-down skirt she used to wear this in the 80s as you can see the design is very very 80s but i've just unbuttoned it all the way until three buttons are left just like the model and for the top i've just gone with a bralette style top which is just a white top it's not really a bodysuit like the model but it came close to this look <laughs> yeah that's why i just told you guys this basically this uh what is it called uh, basically this Pinterest outfit uh, and also forgive my voice because I've had a cold for a really long time I'm even suspecting it was COVID uh, but as in I've had a flu cold something laryngitis thing for like almost I think uh, a month now yeah and my voice has just come back recently I sound like a pastor a person who's just been preaching or maybe a singer in the choir but I'm not yeah so um it's gonna come back it always comes and goes as you'll see most of my videos my voice is even hoarse yeah so that's the best i could actually do with this um fast outfit <laughs> yeah but it looks pretty good and yeah i do like that she really looked good i had to recreate this one now for this second look you guys will have to forgive me because i've told you guys that i'll be checking like my phone and stuff so for this second look basically the model as you can see she's wearing like a leopard coat and uh some pink pants and like a turtleneck sweater and really cute shoes and also really cute sunglasses now what i attempted may god forgive me but <laughs> yeah but the point is it kind of worked so uh, <laughs> basically what i've done is that i've just worn a pink jumpsuit because i don't have pink trousers so i've worn a pink jumpsuit underneath and then now i've put on top of that jumpsuit a brown turtleneck i can see that her turtleneck was slightly with some pinkish undertones to it so i'm not sure but i did get a brownish turtleneck that almost looks similar to the one she's worn and i just put it on top of that although hers looks baggy but mine is kind of tight but that's the turtleneck i could get and a really big overcoat size coat um leopard print coat that i actually own and i've owned this coat for a really long time i got this coat off the boohoo website uh the jumpsuit was also from the boohoo website and just some sunglasses that i got from aliexpress um i don't have like the the similar to hers the style but yeah that's the best i could do <laughs> yeah i i give this outfit honestly five out of ten because one it's too heavy for the weather here in kenya and two, <laughs> you look mad if you're to wear this especially like all the layers there are a bit too much 
Uh, so I just give this one 5 out of 10. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I enjoyed styling it, looking for the pieces. I really enjoyed that. By the way, you should, if you want outfit inspirations, definitely check out Pinterest. There's also a black uh, Pinterest, which is called Melanin Trust. And I think the next video I'm going to do will be outfits from Melanin Interest. Yeah. I don't have that style of shoes, but luckily for me, I'm too tall and sort of like the video doesn't really show the shoes. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't have that style of shoes, definitely, yeah. So for this next outfit, um, the model is basically wearing a t-shirt, a white plain t-shirt that is written Metallica. Uh, and just like, uh, she's giving out like rock fun vibes. And also she's wearing like a leather, black leather jacket and a grey skirt, um, mid-daxi skirt, something of the sort. It's like midi but maxi but not maxi uh, skirt and also some sneakers that are white. And yeah, she looks really great. And uh, basically what I managed to get was a midi skirt. I don't have a mid-daxi skirt in grey. And I, I don't also don't have a white t-shirt, surprisingly, that just has like one letter. So I decided to get wear this sweater top. It's a sweater top that's just written love and uh yeah my usual leather jacket so basically that's the look i got and if it come when it comes to like <clears throat> when it comes to like uh what is it called shoes i do have a pair of white canvas i don't really have this style of like white shoes but that's what i managed to get and i hope that you enjoyed this look because that is just from the pieces i have yeah like that's the best I could do, basically. But I'm really getting a lot of outfit inspirations, by the way. I used to see, like, a Pinterest outfit inspirations, but I never bothered to, like, try them. I just, like, look at them just for fun. But I never, ever bothered to, like, actually try them. And I feel like, yeah, they're good. They're really, really good. As in, I'm impressed because, actually, I'm, I'm just randomly picking outfits from Pinterest and I'm actually finding that I actually have those pieces, like yeah so probably you also will too and for the skirt the skirt i got this skirt it was a two-piece set so it has a top but i didn't wear with this style so uh the skirt i actually got it from uh jumia uh the gray skirt and then the t-shirt i thrifted it and the coat i just bought it in the supermarket okay for the next outfit i believe this is like a shop that was selling you know some of these models are not completely like normal people like probably they're like sellers or something of the sort so yeah some are models some are celebrities you do, really don't know with pinterest who whose photo it is right so for this next outfit uh basically she's wearing like a blazer that is houndstooth and some shorts that are also houndstooth and uh, a crop top that is white in color now i do not have a matching set like this one but i tried to mix and match them and surprisingly i did have two pieces that were actually houndstooth how insane is that and none of these things are related because the skirt is a hand-me-down from my elder sister she handed it down this skirt to me in the early 90s as you remember in the early 90s i don't know if you're watching this and you are too young or you were just born not early 90s oh my god she handed this skirt to me in the late 90s that would literally make me like 50 something years if it was early 90s but uh, my sister handed this card to me in the late 90s it used to be hers so for those of you who remember the houndstooth pattern in the late 90s was small it wasn't big like the modern houndstooth and uh yeah so i got this card in the late 90s so it was a hand-me-down from my sister and it was really really good quality really good quality like that skirt i've held on to it for forever so um and for the coat i thrifted it also and as you can see she's also the model had rolled up her sleeves to show some color but mine is like teal or something on the sleeves so that's fine so i couldn't find shorts but i did find that skirt and that blazer and that um it's not even a blazer it's just a coat crop coat something and i've just paired it with like a white crop top yes yeah really nice style i like okay for this one i can safely say that uh it's a very simple outfit to do a lot of people have such style of skirts uh i do have such a style of a skirt um but i don't have the color that is she's wearing basically so hers looks like some neutral print with like flowers or dots in it but mine is like layered and it just has blue uh, so basically the model is wearing like that floral skirt, bohemian-like style. 
uh, floral skirt with like a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans coat not a pair of jeans a pair of jeans or trousers <laughs> sometimes i just talk and then i just forget i don't know <laughs> so basically the model is wearing like a white t-shirt or a white top basically with a jeans coat now for me i do have a jeans coat a blue jeans coat and i also have a white top but my skirt is blue but the look is still the same still cute still nice i do have sandals of course i'm a kenyan i have sandals like maasai sandals and stuff so not really this style of sandals yet so really cute outfit very easy to wear this one is practical i give it a 10 out of 10 it's practical to wear especially in kenya very practical to wear so i give it a 10 out of 10 and also for comfort it looks comfortable so 10 out of 10 for this outfit i like it i really like it guys if you're interested in this makeup look go check out my other videos because i do a lot of makeup tutorials and i just feel like my skin has been popping in case you guys are wondering what has happened to my skin guys the secret is coming out soon the secret is coming out soon i told you guys i'm going to do a certain review for a certain product and that product is what has brought this marvelousness like my makeup has never looked this good like it has never i'm not bleaching myself i know there are people who come in the comment section and say you are very dark i was not dark it's not glutathione <laughs> it's not glutathione guys it's just a commercial break so um <clears throat> and you can see it's even even out it has evened out my skin like damn damn i'm even falling in love with myself like what's going on yeah but basically uh there's a certain product that i bought and i promise you guys a review if you've been following me you know the product of course but a review is coming out soon and you can see the results of that like you can see a little bit of pimples and stuff but the dark marks are like vanished gone so you can get a high hint about the product yeah so basically if you have reached this point in the video just subscribe but there's more outfits basically yeah because i'm so happy that i actually get to try out all my clothes because some of them just sit in the closet make sure you're subscribed okay okay last but definitely not the least i got like a sort of a school girl outfit i guess i guess abroad it's a school girl outfit in kenya it's not a school girl outfit honestly <laughs> school girls wear a uniform yes so basically um it's just a dress that i bought off the boohoo website no this, oh, what am i saying the model the model is wearing like a stringy honestly i don't know the names of these dresses it's just a dress with like straps right and she's paired it with like sheer black leggings and also a black top that is a turtleneck and also she has some sneaker wedges something going on in her feet yeah so a very nice picture yeah the the, the person that the person that i got this picture from from pinterest yes but was like teenage outfits or something of the sort so i will believe this this outfit actually suits a teenager not people middle-aged like me no Mm -mm. middle age that is no you look ridiculous in this if it's your style also go ahead and do it if you're a teenager wow this is your style now yeah so basically uh what i did is that i got i wore this dress that i got from the boohoo tall section which is just like a green i'm a green dress i'm a green yes a green dress camo green something green yes dress and uh i paired it with like the sheer black leggings and i also paired it with like a sheer black top i didn't have a black turtleneck like her so i just paired it with a sheer black top and for sneakers just normal sneakers because i don't have sneaker wedges i'm too tall for sneaker wedges and i think also sneaker wedges are so rare to find nowadays yeah and i find them also like a ridiculous piece of fashion like just wear the high heels <laughs> yeah anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video enjoy this video sometimes you guys i'm sure sometimes you wonder like what happens sometimes i'm hyper sometimes i'm down sometimes i'm more it just depends on my mood but naninga is just about fashion basically i am all about fashion i'm all about makeup i'm all about makeup tutorials get ready with me videos i'm all about uh beauty products skincare for those of you who don't know i battled acne for a really really long time those people who lie to people that acne is for adolescents shindwe katika jina la yesu because it's a lie 
<laughs> Personally, it wasn't for adolescence. It was like three quarters of my life, right? Let's hope that it has now ended for good, right? So um, I'm all about skincare. I'm all about, yes, the superficial parts of life which are not all about everything but that's what this channel is about basically the superficial parts of life yes <laughs> yeah so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next video bye